Good morning, everybody. Thank God for another day among the land of the living. God is good. He's worthy to be praised. Amen. Thank God for Jesus. Thank God for the word and thank God for the Holy Spirit. Today's Bible verse of the day is going to, this is a big one. I really like this scripture. It's 1 Peter 1 and 18. 1 Peter 1 and 18. It says this. For as much as you know that you were not redeemed with corruptible things as silver and gold from your vain conversation received by tradition from your fathers, but, but with the precious blood of Christ as of a lamb without blemish and without spot. So that's actually 1 in 18 in 19 there's two verses but one in 18 and 19 of first peter says this let me read it again <clears throat> for as much as you know that you were not redeemed with corruptible things as silver and gold this presents the fact that thou that the most precious commodities as silver and gold could not redeem a fallen man amen so you were not redeemed with corruptible things of silver and gold from your vain conversation received by tradition of your fathers, but with the precious blood of Christ as of a lamb without blemish and without spot. You were redeemed by the blood of the lamb. Amen. The blood of Jesus is the only payment that will be acceptable before God the Father on Judgment Day. We will all stand before the Lord, and we're all going to give an account of how we lived our life down here. We're all going to fall short. We're all guilty. doesn't matter if you've broken the moral law, the Ten Commandments, one time. If you've broken one, you're guilty of all. So we're all going to fall short, and... There's none righteous, no one, not one. But thank God for the precious blood of Jesus. 6 and 23 of Romans says the wages of sin is death. So the wages we've earned as sinners is death. But the gift of God is eternal life through our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. We've been redeemed by the blood of the Lamb. It's the only payment that will be accepted before God the Father on Judgment Day. And we all will stand before the Lord. And the blood of Jesus, the atoning sacrifice, that was the plan of salvation. God has redeemed us. He's purchased our souls back to himself through the blood of Jesus. And it's that simple. And you must put your faith and trust in the blood of Jesus Will your sins be covered under the blood? Amen. On judgment day, will the God the Father see the blood of Jesus over your life and covering your sins? You must get your sins under the blood, and that only comes through repentance toward God, turning to him with all of your heart, and placing your faith and trust in Jesus Christ. Thank God for Jesus. Thank God for the plan of salvation. You know, it's the good news, it's the gospel message, and um, the bottom line is Jesus went to the cross. He suffered a, a, you know, a brutal death. They crucified him, they spit upon him, they mocked him, they beat him, and he did that. What he did at the cross is he took the wrath that we deserve as sinners, and he took it upon himself, so we wouldn't have to go through that. And we don't have to serve that death sentence anymore because of the blood of Jesus. Amen. It's all about what Jesus did for us at the cross. He died. He was crucified. He died. And he, he was buried. And he rose again the third day. He said three words before he gave up the ghost. He said, it is finished. Meaning that the debt has been paid in full. And he paid it with his precious blood. You can't pay it with gold with silver, with good works. You can't pay it with anything. There's only one payment that's accepted before God the Father, and that's the blood 
of his son, Jesus. Amen. So thank God for the blood of Jesus. We've been redeemed. We've been purchased back to God with the blood of Jesus. And there's only one way you can be saved, and that's through turning to God and putting your faith in Jesus. Why? Because he is the Savior of the world, and he died for the sins of all mankind, and he purchased our souls back to himself with his precious blood. Amen. So thank God for the blood of Jesus. You know, there's no other name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man comes to the Father but by me. Every knee shall bow and every tongue will confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. So bow the knee now and and gain the gift of eternal life because whether you bow it now or later, you're still going to bow it. You can bow it now and receive eternal life and eternal glory, or you can reject him. You're still going to bow it later. But instead of, in, instead of gaining eternal life, you're going to go to hell for all eternity. And no man wants, I don't want that for anybody. So get right with God. Give your life to Jesus. Surrender to him. Call upon him. Admit you're a sinner in need of a savior. And, and put your faith and trust in the blood. Amen. Put your faith and trust in the finished work of the cross and what he did for you. And be born again. Gain the gift of eternal life. And just what a blessing it is because of what Jesus did for us. So God bless you all. Have a wonderful day. Love God with all your heart. And love your neighbor as yourself. Amen. Let your light shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your Father which is in heaven. Have a wonderful day. God bless.